good afternoon everyone welcome to mind magics today uh, i'll be i will be giving you a power apps demo and i'll teach you what is power apps and certain topics of power apps so let's talk about mind magics so basically mind magics is a e learning uh, industry mind magics is is having nine plus of experience in e learning industry and we have our trainers are uh, 10 plus years of experience in their respective technologies and uh, we have reputed corporate and around the globe uh, one 10 plus reputed corporate around the globe and uh, professional have got trained and certificate we have actually basically from mind magics 450k plus professionals have got trained and get certificate uh in uh, the technologies respected technologies and uh, we have uh, we have delivered 500 plus technologies like uh, power apps and uh, power automate and chip point and there are 500 plus technologies we are serving here and we are delivering the content in mind magics so basically mind magics uh, is e learning platform so which is uh, that is that's why it's known for basically uh, here we teach uh, technologies uh, recent technologies such as power app is a recent technology it's introduced in 2016 uh, like that we have rpa and other technologies as well and this is about a trainer so basically i am a developer who develops customization for microsoft office 365 saas cloud products translating feasible functional requirement into technical and finally turning them into product successfully getting adapted by end clients i have extensively worked on office 365 offerings like microsoft power apps and microsoft flow microsoft sharepoint i have worked on canvas and modeled in power apps later i'll tell you what a, what is canvas and what is modeled in power apps so uh, i have good experience in power apps connectors such as sharepoint online uh, list and library of sharepoint online and cds that is uh, microsoft data words uh, hands on experience in uh, microsoft power automate that is known as ms flow this is the introduction to a power app training the duration of this course is 18 hours this course include concept like introduction to power apps power apps desktop editor designing and feature of custom forms custom form tools custom power apps power app formulas power apps management to uh, management studio let's talk about the curriculum of the schools so these are the all topics which we are covering in this course uh, such as power app overview uh, what is power app and what is how to use power app and what is the purpose of power app and uh, types of power apps what are different types of power apps provided by microsoft power apps building blocks power apps development environment setup how to set up power apps development environment power app studio overview power app canvas app options what options we have in power of canvas like we have we can build canvas app from blank or we can build canvas app from template so create app from template we will create app from template from scratch uh, also like uh, we will create app blank canvas app and create app from data source such as sharepoint we will create app and use data source as uh, data source such as sharepoint and we will create a power app from scratch and use data sources ms excel and also we we will use we will create power app from scratch and we will use cds that is common data service and i i also let you know how to uh, integrate how to use sql server in power apps how to get data from sql tables in power app and how to utilize that data and we will discussing about power app licensing model and system requirement limit and configuration supported device like uh, power power app is supported in mobile and tablet in mobile uh, android and ios 
power app integration with sharepoint how to integrate sharepoint and power apps like we can customize sharepoint forms in using power apps so we will discuss this also in detail in this course power app canvas control overview and examples common control properties what are the common controls like input box or label these are the common controls what are their properties we will discuss like in input box uh, the properties such as on change on select properties or button so we will discuss all this in detail add and configure control canvas app we will add control in can canvas app we will configure can control in canvas app we will use gallery data table and forms in power app we will do crude operation using forms in power app and we will develop custom forms as well and we will use uh, power fx uh, to store data and uh, we will customize forms and gallery control and we will implement sort search in power apps customize uh, sharepoint form using power app. we will customize sharepoint forms and uh, using power apps and uh, we will talk about power app variables what kind of variables and power apps and what are global variables in power apps what how to make global variable how to make local variable and how to utilize variable and uh, we will discuss uh, basic formulas what are the basic formulas like patch patch is a formula is blank is a formula navigation is a formula so we will discuss in detail about the basic formulas which are used in which are commonly used to build a application data modification based on user input for example we will have a input box and we will have a check box if a user check check box then input box will visible and if user unchecked that check box the uh, the input box will invisible or we can disable it uh, that input box we can hide and show control based on user input power app advanced formulas so we will covering advanced formulas in power apps and we will covering cascading drop downs like dependent drop down like first drop down is dependent on second drop down and second drop down is dependent on third drop down like countries we will having the list of countries like india australia usa suppose in india we will uh, when somebody select indian first drop down then indian state will be visible in second drop down in second drop down if it's uh, if a user selects for delhi so the cities of delhi like south delhi north east west will be visible in third drop down this is how we will do cascading drop down like first drop down second drop down is dependent on first drop down and third drop down is dependent on second drop down so we will do uh, filter search on gallery we will use power app galleries and we will apply filter there and search there how to search a record from a gallery and develop canvas app from sharepoint from scratch we will develop canvas app from scratch using sharepoint as a data source using canvas app from mobile and desktop we will use that app which we have built in our we will publish that app and we will share that app with other users and we will use that app in our mobile phones or tablet we will use that app and we will use uh, in desktop uh, that app in browser that app and we will talk about themes and branding in power app how to use themes and what are the themes available in power apps and we will talk about navigations how to navigate from one screen to one other or one tab to one other tab we will talk about navigations also today's agenda so we will covering these topics today power apps overview types of power apps power app building blocks basically what is power app power app is a suit of apps services connectors and data platform that provide a rapid application development environment to build custom apps for user business needs using power app we can quickly build custom business applications that connect to your business data stored either in underlying data platform such as uh, microsoft data words that is cds or in various online and on premise data sources such as sharepoint microsoft 365 dynamic 65 sql server and so on basically power app uh, is a low code application we can build power app in very short period of time 
suppose if a same app we can build in another language like android or react or something so it will take uh, one month and same app if we want to build in power app so we can use, build same functionality in one or two week minimum one week we can utilize same functionality and we can build power app in power app is very effective and uh, now it's it's in uh, booming in industry many big uh, organizations are moving towards power apps so these are the this is the overview of power app now now uh, let's talk about types of power app basically we have uh, three types of power app one is canvas one is model driven and one is portal so let me show you go to uh, chrome and type a url mail dot power apps dot com so this is the power app studio basically so here in left navigation let's go to app and these are the all application which i have created and for creating a new application we can go to new app and you have to click on these are the three types of power app canvas model driven and put so let's click on canvas so basically in canvas we have two types either we can go for blank template or custom template no, for custom development or we can go for app templates so microsoft have provide some templates predefined templates so these are the predefined templates either we can use these template to build our application or else we can make uh, application from scratch basically we have two views in power apps in canvas power app let me show you this also so we have two layouts one is phone layout and other one is template layout so we have templates for phone layout as well as tablet layouts so this is the phone layout these are the template for phone layout and this is a template for tablet layout so basically we have two screen on orientation in power app so let's see how blank canvas look like so let's choose tablet layout blank tablet view so basically this is blank canvas layout so here we can we have to design our custom ui according to our required so basically we have three types of can power apps canvas model driven portal let me show you one of the canvas i have built this is the example of canvas app and let me show you uh, these are the forms of canvas app and let me show you one of the this is the portal app this is our portal app look like it's some kind uh, it's like a website this is the url of this app and it's like a website so this is our portal app look like so let's see one model driven i think this is a test model driven right? so in this way model driven app look like 
so we can add a record i'll click on new this is how we can add a record and we can view a record here so this is the ui of model uh, model driven power app so these are the three types of power app one is canvas other one is model driven and the third one is portal so let's talk about building block for power app in power apps uh, home page is a building block power app let me show you what is the home page so this page the first screen of the app is home page this is the basic building block of power app and power app studio is a building block this whole tool is power app studio so here we can add a text input a label a button icons are available there so we can add icons these are the icons power app home page is building block power app studio is building block power app mobile is building block when we build an application so at the end of the day we have to use that application in our mobile so basically power app is for mobile applications fourth one is admin center so let's go to the admin the url is admin.powerapp.com so in in the admin section we can create environments like uh, production environment uh like development environment uat environment we can create solutions basically in development process we have three kind of environment one is development the other one is uat and the th last one is production so this is the these are the environments so we can create environment on click on new and we have to fill this and you can like uat or production or any demo environment something So this is the for environments, admin center. So now let's talk about uh, opportunities in market. What are the opportunities of Power App in the market? Basically, Power App holds a market share of eleven point zero six percent. This is huge, and major companies using Power App are RBI and C. Zag INC and Domain Six INC and many more companies are now going towards Power Apps and Power Apps is basically for B two B business and the average salary of Power App developer range from sixty three to eighty seven to eighty four five forty eight per year. So the the salary and the package is also very uh, good in in Power Apps for the Power App developer. so let's talk about certificates so these are the certificates which microsoft provide to power app developer so we have to uh, microsoft uh, uh, conduct exam for the certificate so we have power platform fundamental and power power apps dynamic 65 developer associate certificate so these are the power app certificates and this certificate will be provided by uh, mind magics it's look like this at the end of this course this will be reported by mind magics and uh, let's talk about some random topics of course create app from template and create app uh, create blank canvas app so we can create app from template and we can create a blank canvas app create app from data source such as sharepoint we can create app from data source such as sharepoint and we can create data power app such as uh with data source such as excel so let me show you how to create a blank canvas using let's go to power app and i think i have used a blank canvas this is a blank so how to uh, connect to sharepoint with data source so we can go to view and data source and we can add data source from here so let's go to sharepoint here in sharepoint we have to add a connection so for any connection there are two types of we can go for on prem data gateway or cloud so let's connect this let's go to my sharepoint as well 
so these are the applications available uh, the site collections of uh, sharepoint so let me use the communication side this one and these are the list which i have created in my sharepoint are available here so let me use employee list let's connect so our employee list is connected now so this is how we can connect our power app sharepoint to power apps so let's see the uh, to see data let's add our data table and let's add this employee list in that data table and let's see the data is there or not see these are the record which are available in, in sharepoint so this is how we can connect our sharepoint in power let's talk about excel also so for connecting excel we have to create excel sheet and we have to upload that excel sheet in one drive so this is a one drive so i have already created excel employee table let's see if data is there so data is not there let's see if i am on the let's check this we have one record over here and let's check menu.poc yeah we are having this data so let's connect this to our power apps so here in power app let us add another screen blank screen so i have add another screen so i i have to add a one drive connection here one drive for business and these are the excel which i have created here na in one drive are available here so now choose menu poc this is table and connect so our excel table is now connected to our so let's add a data table and now we will add a dish table so let's see if data will be visible or not so we will add uh, id menu and this is all this see our data is visible now for creating uh, for using excel we have to first create a table suppose we have created uh, we, uh, these are the records and we have to select all records and we have to go to i think insert and we have to create a table then only we can use i have already created table that's why it's not allowing me so first what we have to do for to connect to excel to connect with excel we have to upload our excel to one drive and we have to make our data in a table excel table then we will use that excel table in our power apps this is how we can connect our excel ms excel to power app and uh, we can perform operations like we can insert data to excel and we can uh, delete data uh, we can uh, view data and we can do similar things like cook operations we have just now check uh, create app from template and create blank canvas app and create app from data source such as sharepoint and uh, we have created app canvas app from data source ms excel so at the end of the course we will be covering these three projects these are uh, these three are the project which we will covering at the end of the session so first project will be basic crud operations and the goal of this project is to perform crud and to understand various functions which are used to post data delete data update data in backend repository so basically the highlight of this project is to perform crud operation we will create record we will read record we will update record and we will delete the record in our database for example sharepoint or excel or sql or cds so the third uh, the second project will be employee management system the goal of this project to build a employee management application that manages all the employees in the sharepoint list 
the highlight of this project is perform cloud operations on employee management application so first we will perform cloud operation we will create record we will read record uh, we will update record and we will delete record and we will uh, perform search operation in search and sort employees based on specific criteria we will perform search operation how to search employees how to sort employees like alphabetical order order or ascending and descending and use of power app gally to view data and we will use power app gally how to view data in power app gally and how to customize our power app gally and the third project is contract management application the goal of this every uh, this project is to um, build a contract management application that manages all the contract and documentation in the sharepoint gally so uh, in this project we will be uh, learning power app forms how to use power app forms how to post data using power app forms in the second project we are talking about custom forms like uh, uh, using input box and label and we can create a form and in this project we will be using form control how to use form control how to remove uh, fields from form control uh, like suppose we don't want to send data in this column so how to avoid that column how to remove that column how to add a column and uh, we can we will use form basically here and we will use a data table to view data how to uh, view data in data table how to use data table and we will do some add ons such as we will do approval management so suppose one contract is created then the contract uh, at a time of when contract is created then the approval will go to a manager that this contract is uh, created please check if you uh, please check and approve so we will do approval process in this project so these are the three project which we will be we will be talking about in this course which we will do at the end of this course power app training lab setup prerequisites uh, basically uh, understanding of computer fundamental a person who want to learn power apps must have knowledge of computer basic knowledge of or basic knowledge of computer fundamental like what is computer browser how to open a browser how to search and uh, the basic fundamentals only similar uh, familiar with the uh, application architecture like in application there are uh, like what is ui user interface what is database so this is the basic info, uh, knowledge about application understanding of database like what and uh, database which are which we are using and So these are the prerequisites. Now let's talk about the system requirement. Android version seven or higher device with at least four GB of RAM, or iOS version ten or higher device with at least two GB of RAM. So basically, power app is a mobile application. So we will use this application on mobile device. The Android must be version seven or higher with at least four GB of RAM, and iOS version ten or higher with at least two GB of RAM. and browser latest browser of microsoft edge or google chrome and window desktop desktop 10 or desktop 8 can be work with at least 8 gb of ram because power app is a cloud application the ram should be minimum 8 so these are the additional course resources so common data service and a series overview we will give overview of cds that is microsoft data verse how to create table in cds how to create columns and how to use cds and how to integrate it with power apps and uh, if somebody don't know what sharepoint online so i'll give them overview how to create a uh, table list in sharepoint how to create library what are the data types of columns in list and how to use um, sharepoint list how to create uh, site collection how to create sub sites or how to create site and uh, we will i'll uh, guide all this at the end of the course we will be having a mock interview so these are the certain questions which we will ask in mock interview and definitely you will be answerable to all these questions suppose uh, question number 1 what type of app can you create in power apps so we already discuss uh, in our, i think our second or third slide what type of apps basically we have three types of app canvas model driven and puta similarly you will be able to answer able to all these questions these are the five set of questions we will give you more than this questions and you will be answerable to all these questions 
This is the kind of interview questions. Can we use multiple data source in single Canvas app? So you will be answerable for it, this also. What are the different ways in which we can submit data from Power Apps? What are the different ways to filter data in Power Apps? What is is blank? These are some questions uh, we will be asking you at the end of this course. It's a kind of MOOC interview. So any doubt regarding this uh, subject or course timing, resource allocation can be discussed with MindMatrix. So feel free to query at info at red MindMatrix and regarding timing and, uh, and course uh, content something, you can mail us. Thank you, everyone. We appreciate your feedback and this will help us improve in delivering qualitative trainings further.